What is up everyone? I'm Carla and this is Honeycrumb Cake Studio. It's a Saturday afternoon here in Seattle in winter. It is a little chilly outside. Uh, we're lucky we've got a nice bit of sunlight though and we have just closed up shop for the day so all the floors are swept, all the dishes are done and we thought we'd give you a little secret tour of Honeycrumb. Along the way we'll show you how we've laid it out and we'll also give you a peek behind the scenes into what it's like to work as a cake artist at Honeycrumb, at least during the off season <laughs> since it's not peak wedding season right now. So we hope you enjoy this little peek behind the curtain. Come along with me and we'll show you around. Welcome! I'm Carla. I'm the owner and before I show you a little more of our studio I wanted to give you an introduction. At Honeycrumb we have been known for many years for making wedding cakes although of course with COVID we are making much smaller wedding cakes and of course we also make sculpted cakes and themed cakes for all kinds of different events and we love making things like that especially here in the Pacific Northwest, where we get to dabble a lot in the woodland style cakes and mushroom inspired cakes and tree bark cakes. But most of all, sugar flowers will always have our hearts and always be our first love. They are our specialty. We have been getting into doing more modern buttercream cakes in the last couple of years. And of course, our latest fascination is with wafer paper and making flowers out of wafer paper. So we'll be showing you some more of that on the channel here in the future. In essence, we are a very, very small team and we have very high standards and we managed to get it all done. And now we'd love to show you where the magic happens. Welcome inside. Yay, you are past the front door. And this is Honeycrumb Cake Studio. That is our lunch fridge. <laughs> and this is our general refrigeration and packaging area. Our fridges have names. That is Clarence, and the one on the right is Nelly. Our freezer is Hank. And we have names for all of our large equipment here at Honeycrumb, because if you love something, you should give it a name. And we're heading toward the workroom now, but hang on a second. Let's back up because I'm pretty sure you wanted to see the baking area. This is the core of our space. This is where all of the cakes are baked. And of course, where we keep our cake pans, or at least most of them. There are other cake pans elsewhere in the space. These are our double convection ovens, whose names are Marty and Maria. That's my lovely butcher block countertop installed by my husband. And our many, many racks of many tools and things. That is our ingredient fridge, whose name is Layla. And our 220 quart Thunderbird mixers, appropriately named Thundy 1 and Thundy 2. More cake pans. Remember I warned you. And ta-da! This is our main workroom aka the Sugar Flower Playground, which has a view of the water. That's Elliott Bay, Puget Sound, our fondant cheater is in here, whose name is Summer, and plenty of counter space and storage bins. We also have this extraordinary original painting by my friend Tim Lord, which is massive and spans the wall. And of course we have plenty of bins with packaging peanuts in them for our sugar flowers, 
which you will have seen if you have viewed our previous YouTube video on the essential tools for sugar flower making. We like to keep a supply of sugar flowers in stock at all times. We're always working on sugar flowers, of course, and we like to build up a little bit of a reserve of them for when the busy season comes in the summer. All of our pigments and edible dusts and luster dusts are arranged in their appropriate boxes, and this is our wall of sugar flower cutters and veiners, which have been alphabetized, because it makes life so much better to know where something is when you need it. This workroom has abundant workspace with all of our stainless steel tables because you'd be surprised by how spread out things get when you're working on a lot of wedding cakes at a time. This is just a little peek at the back section of our studio, which used to be a gallery pre-COVID and is now our official YouTube video production studio. It has a wonderful piece in here by the artist Michael Brower. This is a painting of Seattle from Cary Park. And to the right here, we have a long corridor. Our restroom is off to the right and a large storage room. And I will spare you a look inside our big storage area. But at the end of that corridor is a door and the door leads to our tasting room. So we're back at the front of the studio now. Here are some of our display cakes in the window and this beautiful piece by my friend Julius Brown. And that is a wrap because we are now back at the Tim Lord painting where we started. Which means, methinks, it is time for some behind the scenes. And here's some cake making action for you in the eight quart KitchenAid. I am working on a small batch of cake batter. Usually when we're making batters we use our 20 quart KitchenAid mixers because we do large batches, but every now and then there's a certain order that calls for a smaller batch. As I said at the beginning of this video, this is the off season for us, so you're seeing behind the scenes of our studio in the winter. It's not peak wedding season for us, at least not yet, and of course it hasn't been peak wedding season for us since 2019. <laughs> Uh, thanks to the pandemic. So we hope to be returning to full steam ahead and uh, humming along per usual by this summer or at least this fall. Just a note about how we work at Honeycrumb. We make everything from scratch. All of our cake batters, all of our fillings, our frostings, our syrups, our curds, things like that. We love to do that. It's fun and satisfying for us to put in the extra work. It is part of our belief in and our respect for the power of tradition that drives us to make things from scratch and also it gives us a lot more control over things like the sweetness level of our cakes. We definitely prefer our cakes to be on the delicate side and not headache inducingly sweet and we also enjoy creating a nice balance of flavor. I am testing a cake here, which involves poking the cake to see if it springs back and then sticking a bamboo skewer in it to see if it comes out cleanly. You probably noticed there that there was a little metal spike sticking out of the cake pan, and that was a flour nail, which we use as a heating core to conduct more heat into the batter so that you don't end up with browned edges of the cake while the inside of the cake is still raw or underbaked. So there's a little baking hack for you. These big sheet pans full of cake have our vanilla buttermilk cake in them. When we turn these out of their pans, we cut them up into smaller rounds and then turn those into individual cakes. And those are for members of our cake club. Here is some Swiss meringue buttercream working its way into a nice emulsion and some chocolate fudge frosting as well. Here I am splitting a quarter sheet dark chocolate cake with my Agbe, which is a cake leveler that's designed for professional bakers. It is a large and deadly saw blade suspended in a metal frame and it is a completely indispensable tool for splitting cakes into even layers, as you see here. 
Not an ad, by the way, not sponsored by Agbe, I wish. Uh, I'm just a fan. And I'm gonna be layering up this dark chocolate cake with our chocolate fudge frosting, which you saw earlier in the mixer bowl. And building four layers of cake and three layers of delicious chocolate frosting. And I'm just gonna let you enjoy the process. Remember I said earlier that we were going to do something good with the trimmings from that quarter sheet cake? Well, here it is. I'm using a 5 inch circle cutter. I'm creating cake layers with it and I'm going to build them into an entire cake. <laughs> and with all the trimmings that we can't turn into an actual cake, we put them into cups, they're compostable cups. And we put some filling and some other goodies in them, and we sell them in our online store as cake parfaits. That's our way of keeping perfectly delicious cake out of the compost and in everyone's happy bellies instead.
vlog. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and enjoyed a sneak peek behind the scenes at life in our custom cake studio. We hope you'll follow us on Instagram or check out our website for more pictures of our work. And we hope to catch you in the next baking video or sugar flour tutorial on our channel. Cheers everyone!